In my primitive way of thinking, I guess you could say there's three kinds of lymph nodes. There's uh, totally normal lymph nodes, in which follow the classic uh, histology textbooks. And then there's enlarged lymph nodes, and the enlargement may be because of benign, hyperplastic, or reactive changes, or they may be enlarged because they have primary or metastatic tumor. Well, in this lymph node, we can see, compared to all the other nice, normal textbook lymph nodes that we've seen, is that the overall architecture is preserved in that you generally see nice, well-formed follicles, and more towards the center, you get these straighter, linear areas like uh, cords. However, if you have looked even at a few lymph nodes, you cannot deny the fact that these follicles, which would be limited to the cortical area generally, are larger and more numerous than they should be. In fact, it looks as though they're going all the way into the medulla and they're competing with these cords and sinuses here. This is an overabundance of follicles uh, which are larger and more numerous than they should be, but the overall architecture is preserved and there's no evidence for tumor of any kind. This is a benign hyperplasia or what they call a reactive lymph node, or what they call a hyperplastic lymph node. And because it's uh, chiefly due to follicles, this is follicular hyperplasia of a lymph node. A lymph node generally responds to inflammatory stimuli in two ways, and this is one of them. This is follicular hyperplasia. The other type, which we have seen before, and maybe we'll see again, is when the medullary cords and sinuses, especially the sinuses, become prominent, and they may uh, overwhelm or uh, push out or lessen the follicles. That one is called sinus histiocytosis, or a hyperplasia of the medullary sinuses. So the two benign ways a lymph node reacts to inflammation, which is called hyperplasia, is either by a follicular hyperplasia, which this is, or a sinus histiocytosis in which you have the prominence of the medulla. Make a long story short, if the uh, cortical follicles are as one way of becoming hyperplastic and the medullary cords and sinuses is a second way. In both cases, it's a benign reactive hyperplasia and there's no evidence for uh, lymphoma or secondary cancer of any type. And if you were to zip in on these follicles, they look very nice. They have nice germinal centers. They have a lot of uh, perhaps mitotic activity within the germinal centers. They have a nice mantle zone out here. Uh, and uh, it's a benign reactive process. And I thank you very much.